So this is the first night I slept in the car and I'm not gonna do it again. I slept in prison for four years on a concrete bed and sleeping in this car was worse, jeez. Well, let's get her warmed up. I'm gonna stretch my legs out, take a walk and loosen up my back a little bit. So I'm currently homeless. I do have a lot of cash from saving it in the bank while I was in prison. When I went and pulled the money out of the bank the other day, all the bankers were looking at me really weird. And I think I know why. I am still in my orange jail jumpsuit. I've lived in it for four years, so I didn't think anything of it. So I got to figure out somewhere. I think, yes, a strip mall right here. I think I saw a clothing place in there. Let's go in there, throw away this jumpsuit, and let's get something nice. I mean, it doesn't need to be super nice. Just something practical, simple. All right, perfect. Let's head in. They're open. There we go. We're out of the jumpsuit, and I just got some basic clothes, pair of jeans, pair of sweatshirts. All right, cross that off the list. Next thing on the to-do list, I'm heading down to that used car dealership. Do you remember four years ago, I came here with a semi that was wrapped in American graphic, had American wrap on it, trailer. It was a cab over it, and then you guys gave me, it was a Chevy Impala, I think? I can't remember exactly. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you for that. Really came in handy. And I, I now offer a towing service. So I have a bunch of experience towing vehicles, recovery, stuff like that. Just kind of get my feet back underneath me. And this is my tow vehicle. So obviously small cars only. I can't do big heavy loads. But if you guys got any business, if you could let me know, give me a call. Here's my number. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. You have a good one. Hey, man, don't, don't call me for about 20, 30 minutes. I actually have to go get that phone okay so don't give me a call yet okay he's just laughing his head off okay that's funny yeah i told him i was getting my feet underneath me kind of fell under hard times obviously cross the second thing off our to-do list now we're going to get a phone that's the third thing we got a lot to do today a lot of errands to run and and start getting things squared away and start building up a name for myself again a reputation and my goal is still to make a million dollars so right now we're almost halfway there we're about halfway there and we aren't going to spend any big money unless it really makes sense there's a verizon store that's what's really cool about this town they have a lot of cool buildings and then they have like strip malls into them and stuff there's the fire station right there well this is the first time i have a phone after four years if you guys remember when I was on the chase, I threw it out the window and smashed it. So this is pretty nice to actually have a cell phone number and a phone and everything. But I was thinking while checking out in the store, like, what am I going to do? What's going to be my main job? So go ahead, comment below. I saw a sign that this gas station is looking for some people. And then I kind of thought after seeing the fire department, we could be a firefighter. Heck, we could walk people's dogs. Let me know any job ideas that you guys have. Next thing on my to-do list, grab some groceries, just some non-perishables to eat out of the car. Obviously, right now we're still living in the car, so on my to-do list today is find somewhere to live. That is the next important thing. So whether I rent something, buy something, we gotta figure that out. There we go. I got a couple boxes of granola bar, a couple gallons of water. That'll tied me over for a little bit. Oh, get a phone call. Oh, hey man. Yeah, you got something to tell? Okay, all right. Just text me the address. I'll be there as soon as possible. I'm in my, in my truck right now. Well, guys, that was our first job. We're actually gonna go tow something. Sounds like somebody's car broke down, a very small vehicle, and my Mercedes tow truck, I don't even know what I call this, is gonna work out perfect for it. All right, address says it's right around the corner. My first net, my, uh, actually it doesn't, okay, it's, okay, it says turn right here. There we go. Oh, check that out. Yeah, this will be perfect. All right, let's see if I can get backed up here. Is that a, it's a Mazda? It's kind of like a souped up car. Wait, that guy looks familiar. Wait, is that? Let's get unfolded here. Uh, hello, sir. No. You changed Spencer? a little bit, not much. Spencer. What's up, man? What? I can't talk to you, man. I, I just, no. Hey. Why are you here, man? Why are, Why you, are you here? here? I'm working. I'm trying to get back on my feet. I got released yesterday. This is my car. It's broken down. Why did they call you? How did you... Can you leave town? Like, I don't want to live in the same town as you anymore. You did me dirty, man. I live in a car right now, man. I can't do too much. Well, then drive your butt away from here. I got, uh, I'm just getting my feet underneath me, Whatever. Man. As long as you know, we aren't friends anymore, man. You broke that friendship. Take my car away. I'll pay you, and that'll be that. You're the one that arrested me. What did I do? You betrayed the department. When we were trained by Buck, do you remember what he said? Yes. That you follow the law. And what did you not do? You're right. I didn't follow the law. Mm -hmm. And guess exactly. what happened after that? Four years and you in lied prison. To me. You lied to me. You stole my semi truck. Like, are we even going to talk about that one? That was 50 50, but sure. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Take my vehicle. I. I what have you been I doing the you... past four years? You only worked at that prison for one year, man. I did jail time yeah. four years. I've been, I did I've my been time. starting my life. It's called starting my whole life over because, you know, I wasn't going to work at the police station anymore. It, this is different without you there, man. 
There's nothing going on. It just lost all the all this pizzazz. Sounds like I'm a pretty fun guy. Well, Load up my car. Yeah, I know. I need to get to work, and this is my first job, so I'm kind of getting my feet back underneath me. Yeah, well... Hey, what's wrong 250? with your car, by the way? You don't even know how to work on it? Really, man? Actually, what's wrong with it? Here, put it in neutral. I'll put you up there. It, it does start. It's just making some weird noises, oh, so I want it to be looked at. All right, you're too lazy to just drive it down there or something, man? It's not safe to. I don't, I don't need this from you, man. All right, loading her up. Does she look good? She's looking good. Just, you're in it, so a little bit worse. All right, we'll fold up those ramps there. That's about, this is the perfect, oh, okay, she's a little heavier than I thought. Actually, here's my new number. There you go, so if you ever need anything, I'm you not, need more tow I'm jobs. not going to call that number. Hey, what are you doing here, building a new house? Yeah, um, it's none of your business, but yes, I am building a new house. Something to live in. Right now, I'm living out this RV. I sold my old property and everything, so doing pretty good financially, but yeah, starting a new life, and you're not part of it. Well, I'm still trying to be a millionaire, and I'm about halfway there, so... I actually saved that money that I had, put it in the bank, and... Yeah, yeah money you probably stole. No. Goodbye. All right, see you later. Well, who would have guessed that? We ran into Boss Man on our first tow job, and we're actually towing away his vehicle. This is kind of cool. But it's cool to catch up with him. I haven't seen him in three years. He worked at the prison. If you guys remember, he's the one who kind of booked me in, and I saw him, like, off and on for the first year, and then after that, it sounds like he retired from the police force. And so I haven't heard from him since, and Buck was our main kind of watch guard. But I guess he's living in Elk Mountain now. He said I shouldn't be here, which the prison is, is is around here. So anyway, well, this is going pretty good, I'd say. It's holding it just fine. I mean, I feel the weight back there. There's no no denying that. But geez, it it did a good job. Let's see how much money we make here too. All right, man. He paid me 250. How much do I get to keep? All right, I get 200. That's totally fair. You keep the 50. Thanks for dispatching me, man. If you got more cars to tell, just let me know. I'm always, I'm all ears, ready to help you. All right, just give me a call any day, any night. Well, awesome. That Obviously, we aren't going to become a millionaire just doing towing jobs, but that's 200 bucks. Now, the next big thing to figure out on my to-do list is to figure out a place to stay tonight. I do not want to sleep in my car again. This thing is tight. It's crammed. And so I am looking for something. And now, since I got my new phone, I was on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist. There are a few houses I could rent, but they were kind of expensive and out of the way. And I kind of want to stay in town. So wait, I think I saw that on Craigslist. It was for sale slash for rent. Kind of interesting trailer here uh let's turn around here all right let's see is that yeah that's the same one yep parked right in front of tractor supply i thought it was right there well that's not my best parking job and i'm gonna take a quick look at it and then i think there's a number i'm supposed to call and i'm gonna give that guy a call especially if it looks good so i guess this is like a car hauler slash like a toy hauler whatever you want to call it but there must be some either living quarters right there or it's like a work area i think it's a work area but pretty cool. It looks fairly new. Not too much rust on it, and it's totally enclosed. All right, I'm going to give that guy a call. See if he can come on down here and show me around. Well, he told me to grab my car, try and get hooked up, and we'll see if, first off, if I can even tow this thing with this bad boy. I guess I didn't really think about that, but I don't need to tow it across country. Just somewhere to park. Yep, there we go. He's got it attached for me. All right, that works pretty good. She is squatting pretty hard, but... I don't think I'll weigh it down any more than this. And then, do you have the keys to open up? I kind of want to see the inside there. There we go. Let's open the door. Nice. All right. He's got an air compressor, a welder, a Ranger welder. So this will run like on fuel, on gas, and then you can weld on it. So you can be very mobile, which is awesome. And it sounds like he used to race cars. So you'd have the car that he raced back there, and then he would work on it and stuff right here. And he said a few times, he actually slept in here. He had a little cot. Nice, man. Yeah. So you slept right there? That Yeah, I think... That'll work totally fine. It looks like about eight feet long. I could always move that welder and if I need a little more leg room. So guys, I'm thinking this might be my new home because one, I can tow out of it. I can keep a bunch of storage, tools, stuff like that. And then, I mean, it's enclosed. It's weather tight, he says. It holds heat, keeps the keeps the hot air out as well. And he's asking 12,500 for it. So 12,500 for the trailer, which honestly is a pretty good deal because it's so new too. He said he paid 16 for it, brand new. All right, man, would you take nine, 9,000 for it? I know that's a bit under your price range, uh, under what you're asking for, but I'm just getting my feet underneath me. You don't got too much to spare. You'd meet at 10? Let's shake on it. I'd meet at 10, man. 10,000, let's do it. All right, there's some cash for you. All right, cool beans, man. Thank you. And the really cool thing about it is about half the drawers in the toolbox were full. So he was getting rid of his tools. He was quitting the trade. He said he got injured, didn't want to race anymore. So didn't really need the tools. I got the welder, the compressor. I mean, that welder is a couple grand. That's the nice part. Maybe I'll sell that welder. I don't really need it right now. And then these tools are pretty full. 
So I think I'm gonna head in track flag, grab a, a few more things, a few necessities. Let's head in there, grab some stuff so I can sleep in there tonight. Spent a little more than I wanted to, about 350 bucks. I got a little buddy heater that runs off propane, a sleeping bag, a cot, and a pillow. And the guy said he was renting this spot from Tractor Supply so he could keep it here for another week. So he said I could technically live here for another week in this parking lot if I keep it kind of on the DL. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Get set up and I get a few more hours of sunlight here. I'm gonna keep crossing off some things on my to-do list. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button. Let me know what I should do for work. I'm trying to figure that out. Obviously we made some money today. We're moving along. Got a place to stay. So things are looking on the up and up. I think we hit our low yesterday. Smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.